When it comes to being bipolar, it doesn't matter your age or your gender, you know, it could easily be anybody. Scientists, they can't really identify where it comes from. All they know is that it could be a, a secret gene hiding in your bloodline, like I'm a puppy, waiting. 0.8% of the Caribbean population, they say, have it. But people just lie, and more so, people just hide. But I've been hiding long enough. Wow, what striking images there by Kwame E. Boson, who's our next guest uh, to tell us more about mental health and music. Kwame, you're a filmmaker, a photographer, and a poet, and by what I just saw, a very strong filmmaker as well. Welcome to the program. You've I brought with you Akile Akwi, singer, hey. and we're going to find out why Akile is here. So this week, we commemorate Mental Health Week, mm -hmm. and you felt it necessary to do a documentary. Why? Well... I did a documentary on bipolar disorder because I myself was diagnosed and went through my own situation that led to me being hospitalized. Mm -hmm. And after that, I went through a process of uh, kind of being isolated and then weird looks and nobody necessarily knew how to interact with me. Yeah. And over time, I realized nobody necessarily knows how to interact with anybody that has these problems, even if they don't even show them out as much. So I decided if I could create something that could start to show the inside of the story, yeah. we, more, we could realize that the per problem is not necessarily the person, yeah. but more so the environment. So is this an introspective, or do you have other persons that you interview during the documentary? Tell us no, about it's it. definitely entirely introspective. Okay. So it's really about you yes, and your journey. Yes, it's definitely about me, definitely about my, my story, yeah. and as concise as possible this yeah. time. And you're part of the UE film program? Yes, I am. Yeah, wonderful images there. Thank you very yeah, much. Let's talk a little bit about uh, being bipolar, because you said you were diagnosed. Mm -hmm. At what age were you diagnosed? I was diagnosed at the age of 24. Right. And uh, what were some of the signs and symptoms? Um, my moods were definitely not controllable, per se. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I felt very in control, because when I had my experience, I was going through what they call a manic episode, which means I was showing signs of being very talkative, very social, like a social butterfly. You never tell that anything was wrong at all. Yeah. But at the same time, I was kind of drifting away from everybody else's reality. Mm -hmm. I was super hyper positive. And the strange part about being positive and how the power of the word is, everything I believed in was happening. Yeah. So it, I, I myself didn't know something was wrong. I think everything was going fine. Mm -hmm. So it just came to a point where I was so far removed that I had to be removed wow. from my academics. And for how long? For a year. Yes. And But you're on the mend now, working your way back to... I have worked my way back. You have worked your way back. For the last two years, yes. to be exact, I have definitely worked my way back. It took a long time. It's still a continuous process because I'm fortunate to not be a terrible case. It's actually a miracle for me to be able to talk to you today considering how far I've gone. Yeah. Because I'm what they call high functioning. Yes. So if I never say I'm bipolar, everybody will just think, okay, sometimes you're hyper. It's, you know, sometimes you're sometimes up and sometimes you're really down. And sometimes I'm just not there. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I do hold my corner and whatnot. Yeah. You brought Akila with you. Mm -hmm. And why is she part of your interview this morning? Tell us why. Well, Akili is not only a, a jazz vocalist that sings soulful songs, but she's also a nursing student ah. at the University of the West Indies okay. in Mount Hope. And she is one person in particular who, in her way, helped me discover a lot of things with myself in the past year. Mm -hmm. And I found it very important that she be a part of this show yeah. and, of course, this interview. And this show you're speaking about happens on Friday at mm -hmm. the University yes, of the West Indies. Yes? Mm -hmm. uh, tell us more. Okay. Well, it's at the UE Film Program building, mm -hmm. and it starts at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And, well, I'll be performing alongside some really amazing vocalists as well and performers, so I look forward to it. And what's the purpose of the, the concert that you're having? Um, well, uh, there's a course called Capstone, that's our thesis, and the purpose of that thesis is to make a film. Mm -hmm. So we have a 45-minute film to produce, and, of course, that takes money. So what, we would, what I do with my documentary and this event 
is raising funds and kind of generating possible investment yeah. into our film production. Very creative. So, yeah. Very creative. And it's actually using film to bring social awareness at the As same well, time, which is so important. Film is what people don't know it, but that raises a nation. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I want to hear a bit of your performance. Sure, and uh, you gonna, what are you going to perform for us? My Mind, a song called My Mind by Yebo. All right, so take it away. Okay. Mm. Since as a filmmaker, I resonate deeply with every single part of the art form. So, mm -hmm. music being actually one of my first passions, when it hits me, it hits me, and I can't deny it. And personally, I'm not a man afraid to cry, especially knowing how much can happen if you don't let your emotions out. Yeah. So, let me give you a hug. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming on the program this morning. Thank you so much, Akili, for that wonderful rendition of my mind. And remember, you can support uh, Kwame E. Boson and his project by going out this Friday to the UE uh, Film School program at 6 p.m. And uh, also looking out for the final production of your film, which will be coming out very soon. 
Thank you so much. You're welcome. And all success to you in your career. Thank you. We're taking a few messages. Come right back here on the Now Morning Show after this.